Thank you for choosing Kind LED and congratulations on your purchase of the Kind K5 Wi-Fi LED grow light. You now own the number one LED grow light in the world. This video will guide you through the simple setup and operation of your new grow light. As a first step, carefully unbox your grow light. On the fixture, you will notice the following. The power button for booting up your grow light. A rotary dial for controlling the onboard interface. An LCD interface display. A USB Wi-Fi port. An ethernet input. A power cord inlet. And four light hanging anchors on each corner of the light. Also included inside the box is one power cord, a hanging hardware kit, and a nano USB Wi-Fi receiver. The included hanging hardware kit is easy to install and requires no tools. Simply attach the clips on the ends of the wire hangers to each of the four hanging anchors on the top of the light. Use the two large carabiner clips to hang the light from a fixed position or from an adjustable hanging system such as a yo-yo light hanger. Now insert the power cord into the top of your kind LED light fixture. Make sure to attach the power cord to the light first, then into a properly grounded power receptacle. Please make sure that all power requirements are considered if running multiple lights on one circuit. Consult an electrician if you are unsure. Before you begin the setup of your new Kind LED Wi-Fi grow light, you must connect the included USB Wi-Fi receiver into your fixture. Your USB Wi-Fi receiver will come in the packaging that contains your light hanging hardware kit. Plug the USB Wi-Fi receiver into the top of your fixture. Once you have connected your USB Wi-Fi receiver to the fixture, use the power button to turn the fixture on. Once your light has been turned on, your LCD display will illuminate. After a few moments, you will see the following message appear on the LCD display. The onboard Raspberry Pi computer is now booting up. It can take up to 90 seconds for your light to finish its initial process. Once the light has completed the boot up process, a welcome screen should appear on the LCD display. The fixture will return you to the home screen on the home screen, you will see the time displayed, as well as the click for menu message. Press the rotary dial to be taken to the main menu. From the main menu, you can control the following functions. Spectra presets, spectra control, timer mode, reset all timers, clock set, Wi-Fi pairing, cancel preset, and home screen. Rotate the dial to cycle through the options until you reach the Wi-Fi pairing function. Press the rotary dial to select the Wi-Fi pairing menu option. A list of available Wi-Fi networks will appear on the LCD display. Rotate the dial until you reach the desired Wi-Fi network. Press the dial to select the network. You are now prompted to enter the password for the selected network. A lowercase alphabet will appear on the LCD display. You can rotate the dial to scroll through the available letters. At the end of the letters, you will see the following symbols. Pressing the dial on this symbol will access the uppercase letters. Pressing the dial on this symbol will access the lowercase letters. Pressing the dial on this symbol will access numbers. Pressing the dial on this symbol will access additional symbols such as at, exclamation point, percentage sign, etc. Pressing the dial on this symbol will operate as a backspace option. Pressing the dial on this symbol will enter the completed password. You should see connecting appear on the LCD display. Once connected, you will see the success message appear, along with the IP address for the light fixture on the LCD display. You will then be taken to the home screen where the time and IP address will be displayed. You can now access your Kind LED Grow Light from the web browser of your smart device, tablet, or computer. Ensure that the device that you are using to access your Kind LED Grow Light is connected to the same Wi Fi network as the fixture. Open the web browser on your device. Then enter the IP address displayed on the light fixture into the address URL bar. Please note, connection time on initial setup will vary depending on the strength of the router and the Wi-Fi signal. If your browser does not connect at first attempt, refresh the page. If repeated attempts fail, check the location of the router and Wi-Fi signal before attempting to refresh the page. Once a successful connection is made, the browser window will display the dashboard of your kind LED grow light command center. Users with multiple grow lights within one room, follow the process that you have just completed for each light that you intend to control using a single command center. Once all lights have been connected to the Wi-Fi network, you will see a list of all connected lights in the Kind Farm section of the command center. If all connected fixtures do not appear on this list, click refresh to automatically update the list. Users with multiple grow rooms, 
For grow operations with multiple rooms, it is recommended that each room have a dedicated router or network for the lights in that room to connect to and be controlled by. Setting the clock. On the dashboard of the command center, find the time and date display and click Edit. Use this window to set the current time and date of your location. For users with multiple lights, use the Kind Farm section of the command center. Select All Fixtures. Testing. To run a test on the Kind Farm, in the Results tab, select Set Spectra Channels in the drop down menu. Set all three spectra channels to 100%, then click Update All. All connected lights should power on to 100%. As a secondary test, set all spectra levels to 0% and click Update All. All lights should return to the off setting. Now that we are connected and ready to grow, we can manually set spectra channels on all of our fixtures, we can set an awesome preset spectra, or we can create a custom preset schedule. Please note, if you are using multiple fixtures, all manual spectra controls must be made in the Kind Farm section. Manually controlling spectra. Use the manual control override window on the dashboard to control each channel. The sliders can be set from zero to 100% intensity. Once set, click update. Once the success window pops up, all LEDs should be running on the manual spectra setting at desired intensity. If you have a preset currently populated on the preset phase chart window, adjusting the manual control override will remove that preset from your light scheduling. Setting presets. On the current presets, preset options windows, select preset button will bring up a window where you can select your desired preset spectra from the preset list drop-down menu. Once a preset is chosen, confirm selection by clicking Select Preset. You will now see that selected preset is populated in the current preset window. We can now review the timing and spectra of this preset. Please note, the presets have a specified start and end time based on common practices. If the preset times do not meet your specific needs, you can create a custom preset. To activate this preset, click Set Preset. Your preset will now be active, and your preset will populate the preset phase chart window. Changing your preset. Before selecting a new preset, you must cancel the current preset. Click Cancel Preset. This will remove it from the preset phase chart. You may now select a new preset and load it into your preset phase chart. Creating a custom preset. Click the Create tab on the left-hand side of the Kind Command Center. A preset is made up of eight phases. Each phase is made up of a spectrum intensity, start time, and duration. You can begin by setting the red, micro, and blue channels to the desired intensity. Next, set the time of the day that you wish the intensity to begin. You can use the drop-down menu to select times on the hour or enter in a custom time manually into the window. Please make sure to specify AM or PM. Next, we will set the duration of the intensity. How long would you like this intensity to run? Click Add Phase. This will populate the Build Custom Profile window with your first phase and we can move on to setting your next phase. Please note, it is not necessary to use all eight phases for your custom preset. For example, if you plan to run a simple 18-hour vegetative cycle at one desired intensity, you may set a phase to run at a specified intensity starting at a specific time with a duration of 18 hours. Setting additional presets. Set the desired intensity of your next phase. Set the start time of this intensity. 
Please note, the previous phase duration will dictate when you should set the start time for the following phase. For example, if the previous phase is set to start at 4 p.m. and run for one hour, you must set the following phase to begin at 5 p.m. Any gaps in phases will result in the light fixture going dark between phases. Once all your desired phases are set, you can name the custom profile in the Build Custom Profile window. Click Update Profile. Your custom profile will populate in the Edit Delete Custom Profile window. If it does not appear, refresh the page. You can edit your custom preset at any time from this window. You can now return to the dashboard and find your custom preset in the current preset window by clicking Select Preset, then selecting your custom preset from the Select Preset drop-down menu. The following presets come pre-installed on all Wi-Fi enabled Kind LEDs. Please note that these presets are general in nature and may not suit every grower's needs. Most of these presets, except for the full power vegetative and full power flower, have a built-in sunrise and sunset feature to gently wake up your plants in the morning as well as gently put them to bed, just as mother nature would. If none of these presets fit your needs, please refer to the section on creating your own preset that better suits your situation. Once saved, your custom preset will appear in the same list as the below presets. Seedling. This preset is ideal for freshly germinated seedlings and or unrooted clones. It has a peak intensity of 20% red, 40% blue, 40% microspectra, and an 18 on 6 off photo period. Recommended hanging height above canopy is 48 inches. Clone. This preset is ideal for more mature seedlings and freshly rooted clones. It has a peak intensity of 30% red, 60% blue, and 60% microspectra, and has an 18 on, 6 off photo period. Recommended hanging height above canopy is 48 inches. Vegetative. This preset is good for all plants in the vegetative growth stage. It has a peak intensity of 60% red, 100% blue, and 100% microspectra, and has an 18 on, 6 off photo period. Full power veg. This preset is good for all plants in the vegetative growth stage and bypasses sunrise and sunset feature for full power throughout the 18 hour active period for maximum DLI. It has a peak intensity of 60% red, 100% blue, and 100% microspectra and has an 18 on 6 off photo period. Flower. This preset is good for all flowering plants with a 12 hour photo period. It has a peak intensity of 100% on all three spectra channels and has a 12 on, 12 off photo period. This preset features a shorter sunrise and sunset period than the vegetative presets for increased DLI. Late flower. This preset is good for the final two to three weeks of ripening on all flowering plants with the 12 hour photo period. It has a peak intensity of 100% red, 70% blue, and 100% microspectra and has a 12 on, 12 off photo period. This preset features a shorter sunrise and sunset period than the vegetative presets for increased DLI. Full Power Flower. This preset is good for all flowering plants with a 12 hour photo period and bypasses the sunrise and sunset feature for full power throughout the 12 hour active period for maximum DLI. It has a peak intensity of 100% on all three spectra channels and has a 12 on 12 off photo period. 20 Hour Auto Flower. This preset is good for all auto flowering plants with a desired 20 hour photo period. It has a peak intensity of 100% on all three spectra channels and features a shorter sunrise and sunset period than the vegetative presets for increased DLI. 18 hour vegetative. This preset is good for all flowering fruit and vegetable plants such as tomatoes and cucumbers with a desired 18 hour photo period. It has a peak intensity of 100% across all three spectra channels and features a shorter sunrise sunset period than the vegetative presets for increased DLI. Thank you again for growing with the most award-winning LED grow light in the industry, Kind LED Grow Lights. For more information, contact us at 855-559-5463 or visit us at kindledgrowlights.com. We look forward to seeing you grow strong with Grow Strong Industries.